everyone and welcome to the businesstraining.com video module on tips for finding an internship in the public relations industry. Today we'll be going over 10 tips for finding an internship in the PR industry. So first let's start off on reasons why getting an internship is important. Getting an internship can be a very important part of any career's beginning. It's a way to show future and prospective employers that you're dedicated to working and dedicated to the industry. Um, you know, showing that you're very interested in the industry as well. It can also show that you're able to balance school, life, and work together well. An internship can be a great introduction to the business world and a great place to meet mentors. I personally have met two mentors that I very much enjoy and still keep in touch with through internships that I had during school. And you can also find that valuable or rather invaluable uh, experience as a student or an internship can really be found through through this working experience. It's a way for you to be exposed to what the business world looks like and it's also a great place for you to be able to make a mistake as a student or an intern. Um, if you were hired as an executive you have to prove that you know what you're doing, you have to prove that you're doing it correctly and you also have to just be on top of your game and not rely on somebody else. But in an internship you learn how to find your own independence and you also learn how to fix or remedy a mistake if you're given one or if you create one. <laughs> so first let's go over a few ways to prepare. The first is you can create your personal marketing plan like a normal marketing plan. You would do this except for um, yourself <laughs> as it's called a personal marketing plan. Uh, this should involve things that go into normal business plans like your SWOT um, where you can analyze your internal and external strengths and weaknesses. And you can also set a budget for your job search which will help you define where you want to go with your degree or for your career and how to get there. This is a great place to set goals and map steps to achieving those goals. Second is you can get business cards. This is a, a place where you can just quickly describe yourself, give away contact information, and also put something physical in somebody's hand. Um, at a networking event I went to during school, I was told, you know, you need this business card because it's a small resume. It's you that you hand out to somebody else. And uh, also another tip was to make sure that you print your business cards on like a mat or a paper format rather than a glossy so that someone can make notes about you on the back if they need to. It's easier to remember you that way as well. Um, there's also some free business cards that you can get through um, companies such as Vistaprint. There's others as well. So this can be a very cost effective way to create your business card, your mobile resume. So make sure to take advantage of this and, and create those and that way you know people can remember who you are. Third is to utilize social media. In particular, create a LinkedIn account. This is like the professional version of Facebook. Some people take stock in LinkedIn, some people don't care much for it, but it's a way for you to put your resume out there and to share who you are with other professionals on LinkedIn. And it's a way to showcase your professional self, whereas uh, your Facebook or um, MySpace may be a more personal space. So remember to get connected with people and also to be professional on these sites because they can be very detrimental to your image if you don't um, maintain a professional image. And then fourth is to practice. This is very important because this has probably had been ingrained in your, you know, every, every graduate's mind, but there's a lot to say for, and there's a lot to be said for a person who does practice and who takes the time to go through an interview, to go through and prepare for um, questions that interviewers may constantly ask. And these, these frequent questions can be found in uh, career sources, career uh, resources, if you have one on campus, um, but you can also do it online. It's a great way to sort of do your research, which goes into step five. But more specifically for research, I meant to get to know the company that you're looking for and know who your company is because when you go into the interview, you want to be able to say, yes, I agree with where you're going. I agree with what you're trying to do. And here's how I fit in as well. So that's the part of doing your research. And six and seven are to dress and act the part. Uh, you know you may be a partier at school, you may <laughs> not dress very professionally in your everyday normal life, but for an interview at a business place where you are trying to give that sense of professionalism, your appearance can very much convey that for you. So take the time to 
um, really polish yourself and clean yourself up and look good for this interview. And also act professional, you know, um, try to avoid slang, don't curse during the interview, um, be professional online as well as offline. So really act the part so that the company can see you better and can envision you in the position that you're applying for. And lastly is to revamp your resume. This is the most important part of this whole process because um, and I'll mention this later, but it's really the hardest part is to get to the interview and to get in front of somebody. But the resume is what gets you there. And the resume is um, unfortunately a little too heavily relied upon in the you know recruiting or um, hiring world. But it really is who you are. And it's it's a place where people think that all they need to do is list what they've done in the past. But really your resume needs to be you know, something that makes these people who are reading stop and say, yes, I want this person in my company. So make sure that, you know, when you do your resume, make it stand out and make it, make it really convey that, hey, I did something in this last position. I changed what was going on in this position and I want to do that for you as well. So those are the quick eight tips to get ready, how to prepare and, um, you know, really, really work on this because it's very important. And then, you know, how to find an internship you need to network and this goes hand in hand with the um, social media profiles networking at events so attend those networking events get involved in um, school clubs or school uh, fraternities if you you know don't have a fraternity at school but there are business fraternities that come to your campus or that are a part of your campus get in touch with those people and attend their networking events learn what they are doing in the community and then also figure out how they can connect you with professionals who are hiring this is a great way to not only build camaraderie with other students at school so you become closer with your peers but it's also a great way to get in touch with people who um, you know, for myself, for example, if I were hiring, I would go to my old fraternity and I would go to my old networking event groups because I would really like to connect with them and see, you know, who they have to hire. So um, that's a great way. And then lastly, is to do your research. This is, um, you know, something I put in the last slide as well. But doing your research on how to find that internship, like, um, how to better network, how to find a job online. And a lot of companies will post internships online, which is how I found um, two of my internships out of the three that I had. Actually, all, fo all three I found online. And um, some were on the school job board, which is a great place to look first. So get in touch with your school. Even if you're an alumni, you should be able to get in touch with the school job board. So take a look, look around, peruse, and really get in touch with people who you think you connect with and who you would be a good fit for. And um, that's really going to be the best place to do that. And a lot of recruiters and professional people aren't going to do a really great job at finding someone to do an internship unless it's a very highly recognized and highly regarded company. So a lot of this is you're going to have to do on your own. And uh, that's a really important part because it teaches you how to better do this in the future when you're looking for a real job. But internships theoretically are a great way to get into the business world are a great way to get your foot in the door of a company um, you know they may hire you afterwards so don't take internships too lightly because they're a very important part of anybody's career and their growing stages as well after college or during college so just remember that internships take time it will take time for you to find an internship that suits you and also know that investments in time, your appearance, and your efforts will undoubtedly help you find one. So go to those networking events, go to those career fairs, and figure out where you can fit with someone and who's looking for you. If you're looking for a PR internship, for example, there are a limited amount available through businesstraining.com each year. If you're interested in those, you can email me at ashley at businesstraining.com or team at businesstraining.com. And thank you very much for watching this businesstraining.com video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, to learn more about our training and certification programs, please go to businesstraining.com.